guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to be teaching you how to create a face manipulation in photoshop um the photoshop i'll be using today is adobe photoshop 2020 um so to give you guys a little rundown on what a face manipulation is it's just when you have a base picture and then you add another picture on top to change the look of it it's quite self-explanatory and it's pretty easy once you get the hang of it but this is just a little tutorial on how I do my face manipulations in Photoshop and I hope this video helps some of you guys and um, yeah so let's just get started so I'm just gonna start off with this picture that I just found on Pinterest which that's usually where I get my pictures from. I usually get them from either Pinterest or I will get them off of Google Images or sometimes even We Heart It. But I mostly like to get my pictures from Pinterest. So I'm just gonna use this picture as the background and I'm just gonna, I'm basically just using her body. I won't be using her face, I'm using somebody else's face. And I think the person I'm gonna probably do is um. Ariana Grande, which I've seen some images over here. Um, and a tip, when you do any face manipulations, it your job will be a lot easier if you pick photos that have like the same position, if that makes sense. Like they have to be sort of in the same position, like it just makes it a lot easier. So let's see if we can find a picture of Ariana Grande that has like the same position. Okay, so I see this one right here. She kind of has like that same head tilt as this girl right here. So I think we're gonna use that. So I'm just gonna copy that and I'm gonna go back to Photoshop and I'm just going to line up everything right now just to try to get it um, equal. You can also lower down the opacity to just, if that makes things easier for you. So once you have your layer in a correct position, in a position that looks right to you, um, you're just gonna go ahead and start erasing. I usually like to add a layer mask to my images just so I can go back and undo any mistakes that I have made. So now I'm just gonna erase and just keep the face. And sometimes, depending on what it is, sometimes I will keep like certain parts of the uh, top picture. Like in this case, it's Ariana Grande. She's the top picture. And basically what you're doing is just, you're just going in and you're just erasing all the stuff that you don't need. Like we're not gonna need any of this stuff that I'm erasing. We just, we just want the face. So right now it looks a little bit wonky, like it's just looking a little bit crazy, but once we get this all fixed up, it should be fine. So it's kind of coming together a little bit. Um, what I'm gonna just do right now, I'm just gonna just adjust the the head. Can it position it right? So it doesn't look too crazy. I made the head just a little bit bigger. And the reason I did that is because the forehead was looking like really big. Let 
like I said, once you have a good position on your model, um, it makes it so much easier to, to work with. So this area right here where it's just a little bit like discolored, this area, what I'm going to do is you can either do, you can either blend it in like with eraser and just like lower the opacity and bring the hardness completely down so that it's, we'll just put it on 49 and we're just going to blend it out like that. You can either do that or you can use the smudge tool to kind of just pull it out a bit but this is just a couple things you could do but I think in this case I'll just go with the opacity the eraser option seems like the safest option So it's looking a lot better. It's looking a lot more natural now. But I do want to come up here and kind of fix these spots that are right here. And this is still with the lowered opacity and the hardness down to zero. So that it all could blend out evenly. And sometimes what you can do like this picture this ariana grande picture was kind of the same color as the original picture if not you can change it you can go to curves and create clip your mask and just change whatever you see that needs to be changed like in this case i could probably bring down the red just I can bring it up just a little bit more to match the skin at the bottom. Just a little bit more. And then you can darken it. It looks like it can be darkened a bit more. But this picture didn't really need to be edited that much. In cases like this, the smudge tool is pretty decent to use. Okay, so our picture is pretty much done. I mean, all we have to do is just clean up our mess a little bit around the edges. As you can see, it's like some, some spots. Okay, so like I said, our edit is pretty much finished. Um... You can always take this time to go back and fix any mistakes that you have made. I'm pretty much done with this edit. It came out pretty great. Um, it was really easy because of the positions that both of the people were in. If you have the right positions and you know what you're doing, it's going to be super easy. And for the ones who are just learning, who are beginners and want to learn, the best advice that I can give to you is practice makes perfect. I obviously wasn't very good with this when I first started. And I just kept practicing and you will get better. So I hope this video helped anyone out there who needed help. And I hope this was useful and helpful. Um, but I'll see you guys in the next video. And if you like this video, please be sure to give it a like. And also subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.